on my spinner bait. Dirty water back in here. Look at that orange blade kicking down in there in his face. That's why that's an excellent, excellent tactic. And an orange blade to your spinner bait. Well, he wadded it up too when he was head shaking there. A spinner bait's totally okay. He has just wadded it up a little bit. Let me undo his mess here just a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that orange kicker blade on that spinner bait. Dirty water, cool water, but especially just when it's this off color, just a little bit of added flash to draw those fish in. Something for them to see and to key on. Makes for a vicious bite most of the time. When I'm fishing water that's this dirty, a spinner bait is going to be one of the first things I go to. You know, maybe a shallow running crankbait, possibly a lipless, but a spinner bait and water that is, you know, under a foot visibility, I'm always going to have that tied on. And the reason for that, it just puts off a ton of vibration, and that's going to be the kind I pick. This isn't the scenario to be using a double willow spinner bait in. This is a Colorado willow or double Colorado type place. But for me, I'm, I'm gonna look for any kind of target. You know, a little piece of brush, a little stick up, a little twig, something like that are gonna be the places I key in on. A rock, you know, any type of rock transition, but I'm gonna be honest, you'll catch fish that aren't really around a lot of hard cover sometimes too. Just a little, you know, a little ditch, a little flat, any of those type of places. A spinner bait just gives those fish a lot different look than, you know, a bladed jig or a lipless crankbait a shallow running crankbait, just a different profile, a totally different feel that you can go around other people throwing the same, those other type of baits and catch fish that they missed. A big thing with the spinner bait in this scenario, there's times that your numbers will be a little less, but every time you get a bite, it's gonna be a quality fish. That's a big reason why I like to throw a spinner bait in this kind of situation. There's one. Now we're getting around some. That's a pretty good fish too. Look at that wake he's making over there. That's the great thing about fishing a spinner bait. Come here, buddy. That's the great thing about a spinner bait, man. It is a good way to catch quality bass, especially early in the spring, pre-spawn, but due to any time of the year. Look at the belly on that thing. It is just an excellent way to catch, catch some really good quality bass. And this one in particular for me, the Terminator Pro Series with that orange kicker blade with that big willa. That big willa puts off a ton of flash and a ton of vibration. It's just a dynamite combination for this off-colored water like what we've got right here. This has been a day and really the last few days have been really nice. You know, I mean, we've had a lot of water temperature warm up even throughout the day. I, this morning in places like this, the water was like 51, 52 degrees and it's up to 59 right now. So a drastic change in those surface water temperatures. And you'll see that just throughout the life in these places. Areas like this this morning, you'd occasionally, just every once in a while see a shad flip on the surface where now it's constant. I mean, shad flipping everywhere. We'll see bass feed on occasion. Completely different scenario than what was going on in here this morning. And when you see that, you know that that's when those bass are gonna be feeding. Everything is kind of coming to life. You know, they know in the morning when it, the sun comes up, you know, I mean, they've been out there all night long while we were in a warm, cozy bed sleeping. Those fish were out here getting colder by the minute. But they're out here right now warming up, moving around, chasing bait more, and becoming a lot more active and a lot easier to catch. When that stuff's warming up like that, that Colorado Willa is a, it's just a deadly combination, especially in this spinner bait. Most people think of that as being just kind of an in-between you know, they, they really want to go to that double Colorado. And I, and I use a Colorado a lot in this scenario too, but a little bit warmer water like this, that, I love that big wheel. It's such a big profile, puts off a ton of flash, a ton of vibration. And I, man, it just, I've caught so many big ones early in the year, water temperature in the 50s with that Colorado wheel combination. The cool thing on that depth highlight, not only do I have my water level offset to match up and why you can see all the brown that would normally be water that is now brown because it's land, but I've got my shallow water offset or shallow water highlight set at five feet. And then the depth highlight is actually on out a little deeper than anything we have back here. That's um, why you don't see any green on that screen right now, but 
see in those areas where I've got a big expanse of red like that, I know that's going to be a big, you know, probably a shallow flat. And that's the areas that are warming up quick. If there's a little ditch, uh, you can see there running through that area with those flats, that's definitely the kind of place you want to key in on. When I'm fishing a spinnerbait, I pretty much always use a trailer anymore, whether it's just a split tail like what I've got on this spinnerbait, or sometimes I'll use a, a little swim bait or a grub, but I practically always use a trailer. And even though this is super, super shallow water, I still like a half ounce spinnerbait a lot of times. With that Colorado Willa, I can hold my rod up. It's got a good amount of lift to it, and I'm able to keep that bait up in the water column if that's what I want to do. Cool, what do you want to bite? That was an awesome bite, dude, on that spinnerbait. Rolled it past that piece of wood, and that fish just like he just cut the line. Just went, it's like, it's <laughs> so much fun when they do that. Look at that fish. That orange kicker blade on there. Dirty water, springtime fishing. The water's warmed up back in here, but that fish, you can still feel its body temperature. It was just so warm outside, but he feels cold to the touch. That is an awesome bite on that spinnerbait when they do that. 